Hola amigos, Jim and Mai here from Spanish and Go, your resource for learning real-world travel Spanish. And that's exactly what we're talking about again today, some real-world Spanish that you can use when you're traveling to Spanish-speaking countries, like you would hear if you were to join us on a Spanish immersion retreat in Mexico. So I'm going to leave a link to our immersion retreats in the description if you're interested, but stay tuned for 15 different ways to say de nada. Empecemos. Now, before we get started with the 15 phrases, we want to make an emphasis on something. Saying de nada is completely fine. You can use it with your friends, with um, your boss. It doesn't matter if you are at a formal, informal setting. I think that's why it is such a um, common phrase to use when you want to say you're welcome, but there are so many other phrases you are going to hear or that you can use. Why would you just want to limit yourself to one, right? So the first one we have is no es nada, which means it's nothing or it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. And this is a very casual way of saying you're welcome. You know, when someone helps you with something and then you say, oh, gracias, the other person can say, oh, no es nada. The second one we have is also very casual. And this is, está bien. It's all good. Mm -hmm. So, muchas gracias por tu ayuda. Oh, está bien. The third one we have is no hay problema. No hay problema means? It's no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one is a very easy and also simple way of saying you're welcome. Number four is no te preocupes or no se preocupe for the usted form. And that is? No worries or don't worry. Mm -hmm. I use this one a lot in English and in Spanish because I, I like the vibe that it portrays. It's just, don't worry, no big deal. Numero cinco, number five is, no hay de qué, or you can also add preocuparse. No hay de qué preocuparse, which means? There's nothing to worry about. This one is very similar to number four. It also has that like, ah, uh, relax. Um, vibe to yeah. it, so yeah. Moving on, number six, we have no tienes nada que agradecer. And this means think nothing of it, basically. I don't hear this a lot in Mexico. It doesn't seem like a really common one, but it's good to know just in case you do come across it. Think nothing of it, mm -hmm. more or less. I feel like this one um, is more used by older people or someone maybe in a little bit more formal setting. No tienes nada que agradecer. It's like I'm doing it just because I want to help you and you, have, you don't have to say thank you. <laughs> Número siete, number seven, we have que agradeces. Now this one is very interesting because it's kind of like a question but we say it like a, like a statement. Que agradeces? It's like, what are you thanking me for? It's something so small, I already forgot about it. It's no big deal. Mm -hmm. Que agradeces? Moving on, numero ocho, we have something very basic, but very useful, which is gracias a ti, or simply a ti. So it's just like, thank you, or thanks to you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, instead of saying de nada, you can, answer a gracias with a gracias a ti or with a ti and that basically means like oh you you're welcome and thank you people are so thankful they thank each other for thanking each other <laughs> la siguiente next one we have is numero nueve con gusto this one roughly translates to happy to help mm -hmm. yeah i really like this one uh, it's just like a really friendly way of answering um, a thank you. Next one, numero 10, is para eso estamos. Or you can also add para eso estamos los amigos if you're talking to your friends. So that's, that's what we're here for or that's what friends are for. Yeah, and the para eso estamos 
you could hear it with let's say your parents right some someone who has kind of like an obligation to you let's say that you borrowed some money from your parents to pay I don't know your school loans or something and you are very thankful with them and you're like Ay, muchas gracias and they're like para eso estamos because they have to help you that's what parents are for yes <laughs> <laughs> siguiente next one numero 11 we have a la orden at your service this one you'll hear a lot more in the service industry where someone has an obligation to help you they're doing their job they'll say a la orden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds um, like something from the militares or something like a la orden. <laughs> <laughs> la siguiente, número 12, is es un placer. It's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. Again, just like the one before, this one is also very um, commonly used in the service industry. And before we move on, we just wanted to let you know real quick that we made a PDF document with all of the phrases you'll find in this video. Just follow the link in the description to download it. Moving on, numero 13, we have Estamos para servirte or Estamos para servirle with the formal you. This one you could also say it simply para servirle or para servirte. So we're here to serve you or at your service. Again, this is something that you are more likely to hear uh, in the service industry, like at a restaurant or a hotel or something like that. So we have just two more, but before we give you the last two, please take a moment to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video, it really helps us out. And now for number 14 and 15, these are not super common. They're common maybe more in the movies and they sound a little cliche, but Again, it's helpful to know them. So, numero 14, 14, we have hoy por ti, mañana por mí. This literally translates to today for you, tomorrow for me, and it roughly translates to scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is kind of like we are taking care of each other, right? So, I think it's a cool one. Yeah, I like it. I think it should be used more often. I don't think I've ever actually heard it in Mexico though. No, no, you're not very likely to hear it in a casual conversation, but like on, on a book or on a TV show maybe. Yeah. Now for the last one, for number 15, we couldn't really find a translation, but when you say gracias, sometimes a person who is like trying to flirt with you could answer las que te adornan and that it doesn't really mean you're welcome but you have to think about the word gracias as also like good uh, physical qualities so when you say gracias the other person just completes the phrase with like gracias are your good qualities gracias oh. las que te adornan so it's it's a tricky one uh, but i don't know it's i think more like older gentlemen use it <laughs> when yeah. they're trying to flirt i don't know i haven't heard this one in mexico either but when my brought it up i thought it was interesting to know that occasionally people use this mm -hmm. again it's it's more like a flirty way of saying you're welcome Mm -hmm. So let us know in the comments if there is a phrase um, in English in English like that. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Let us know in the comments what your favorite de nada alternative is. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel and Spanish tips. And remember, el camino es el destino. The journey is the destination. Nos vemos pronto. Adios.